Fox Weather Hurricane HQ, nobody really letting down their guard on late October, though. Tropics producing a Category 5 storm. Hurricane Otis making a historic landfall this week in Mexico. Utter catastrophe, basically, coming out of the state of Herrero. Otis is the strongest storm ever to come ashore that close to Acapulco. Tragically, at least two dozen people have died, another four still missing. Power's not totally restored for a large area of Acapulco, but recovery is underway. This storm will be marked as a 165-mile-an-hour maximum wind speed at landfall. It goes down in the history books. One of the things that was just so shocking about this storm, Otis quickly intensified. What was forecast actually to be a low Category 1 storm at landfall ballooned into a Cat 5 monster. The 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, they flew into Otis, into that storm, while it was intensifying the day before. A member of that Hurricane Hunter team joins us right now, Lieutenant Colonel Caitlin McLaughlin. Thank you so much for being with us. Caitlin, what did you guys know going into that flight? Had the NHC shared the guidance there on rapid intensification? No, we didn't quite know it would be rapidly intensifying yet. Um, we thought it was a tropical storm at the time and that we assumed that it would be a hurricane by the time we actually left, but that's not exactly what we found at all. Uh, mm -hmm. There is actually the radar shot that's on there, and as we were going in, I knew before we ever actually penetrated the eyeball that we were looking at at least a Cat 2. What was the mission like? You get inside Otis, and you, you're thinking maybe Cat 2, but a major hurricane was literally developing as you flew through the storm. Yeah, it became pretty evident. Uh, we actually penetrated it twice, and the difference between the first penetration and the second penetration definitely led us to believe that there was rapidly intensification going on. Um, and then, uh, you know, within 12 hours overnight, of course, it intensified into a Category 5. You know, the storm itself stunned meteorology, you know, forecasters across the board. The weather computer forecasting models did not see this coming. What was the challenge like to get that information back into the National Hurricane Center? Because the data was almost unbelievable coming out of this, um, that it was getting stronger and stronger. Um, obviously, flying into the storm is a lot more accurate evaluation than just looking at the satellite imagery. Sure, it's exactly why we still exist. Um, it is important to have that in-situ data reported back to the Hurricane Center. So this mission was fairly rewarding that uh, it was such a surprise that we were able to get that information back uh, very rapidly to the Hurricane Center. We almost have direct communications with them, so they had the information within seconds. And as you go with the Hurricane Hunter team, you guys fly into storms all season. Does this one now stand out for you? Is it comparable to anything else you've been in uh, because of the quick intensification and just sort of the remarkable performance of the storm? Um, you know, I've been doing this since 2005, so there's been a, there has been a couple other times where I've seen the rapidly intensification. You know, storms go through cycles, so we do see that on, on uh, probably a couple times a season. Unfortunately, what's so remarkable is the little amount of lead time that we were able to give that community. And it's unfortunate. It's the worst case scenario where it rapidly intensifies right before it actually makes landfall. So my heart goes out to that community. Yeah, it is a hard situation to watch develop, but the information that you're providing um, as the hunters going into the storm, collecting that data, so vitally important. Uh, we appreciate the work you do. It was a very historic mission, and we look forward to getting more information as we go throughout the rest of this hurricane season. Our best to you and the rest of the team. Hurricane Hunter Lieutenant Colonel Caitlin McLaughlin, thanks for your service. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.